When the I-7 team has to go on the road, they pick one person to pick out the locations, and that's me. Interesting people, great food, and wonderful places to visit. Where are we? Lancaster, Pennsylvania. We're going to the Turkey Hill Experience. Let's go. We're inside the Turkey Hill Experience. We're greeted by our good friend, Ashley. Ashley, most people on a national basis don't know it, but Turkey Hill is the number one maker of refrigerated iced tea and the fourth largest ice cream maker. How do you guys do it? Well, come on, on upstairs and I'll show you. You gotta walk me through what you guys are doing with iced tea. It's gotta be pretty hard to be number one in the country. It is pretty hard. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Hopefully something right. Come on in, I'll show you the iced tea pavilion here. What we think makes our tea special is we have flavors for everyone. We also keep in mind health conscious benefits. So we offer things like green tea and pomegranate lemonade. We're really bringing in those nice flavors for people to enjoy. Now I see a lot of the flavors now, pomegranate, peach, cherry, different types of flavors that may have a more healthy right. feel to it. Right. What are you guys doing with that? We're definitely trying to appeal to people that have health concerns. They want to drink something a little bit healthier. So we have diet drinks. We also have limited edition light drinks. So less sugar than the regular iced tea. But we think all the flavors really have that Turkey Hill timeless goodness taste to them. Now when you're doing those kinds of teas and you're trying to get the different flavors, is there anything that's more trendy than other teas? I think lately it's been the green tea, things like that, like kind of the healthier options. We have a diet green tea and a diet green tea with mango. So we try to make a nice combination of fruit and diet options for everyone. Well, get some iced tea. Now, can you walk me through where my stomach needs to go? We need ice to go cream? this way. Let's go. Ice cream. <laughs> All right, Ashley, we covered iced tea, which is pretty informative, but the real question is the ice cream. Well, everyone questions us how and why is a Turkey Hill. Back in the 1700s, the Susquehannock Indians actually found a great hunting ground for turkeys. They named the land that our plant is on Turkey Hill. So, the name stuck, even though it's a little confusing, we think it's a great name. Our dairy was started in 1931. Started as a small dairy farm here, and of course now we're on the same location, but we've grown into a national brand. It's kind exactly. of inspiring to me to see how industrious people can be. Right, and I really like the Turkey Hill, even though we've grown so much, it still has that small town feel. The president of our company is the grandson of the gentleman who started the dairy. So even though we're growing into a national brand, we always remember our roots in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and I think we'll always remember that no matter how big we grow. Now, does he ever milk the cow? Sometimes. Really? I think we can get him too. You can come on over. And I can milk the cow. You can actually milk the cow. Now it's, of you course, just, just a fake water base, but oh, yep, you could oh, oh, actually oh, 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 yeah, there we you go. did it. Nice oh, job. Oh, <laughs> so if you were on a farm, I think you might know what to do. Yeah. Yeah. Ever milked a real cow before? <laughs> no. <laughs> First time for everything. Right? First time for everything, and then I get to have the ice cream afterwards. Exactly. Ashley, what makes milk milk? Well, Scott, we just started into the ice cream process, and where does ice cream begin? It begins as milk. And here at Turkey Hill, we want to make sure we provide the best milk possible to make our ice cream products. So if we look over here, you can see that what makes milk is butterfat, protein, lactose, ash, and water. And we try to combine the best possible ingredients to give our consumers the best possible ice cream taste. At the experience, there's things to do for all ages, and one of my favorite things to do is create my own virtual ice cream flavor. So over here at this kiosk, you can see what flavors have been created. You can even create your own. So if something looks appealing to you there, click on it. Oh, you got to come to Papa. <laughs> chocolate peanut butter cup. I would have chocolate mixed with that, brownies with that for a total chocolate experience. Perfect for me. Sounds delicious. So that would be your own ice cream flavor, and there's plenty of others where that came from here at the experience. Now, what do we do with this information? That could be uploaded to your Facebook page, it could be emailed to your friends, you could show everyone what ice cream you created. All right, Scott, we're almost time for samples, but before we do that, the deep freeze, I wanted to take you into our makeshift freezer. So after the ice cream is made, of course you know it has to be frozen. That's right. So I don't want you to freak out, but press the green button, and we will walk into the freezer right here. <laughs> Let's walk into the freezer. So our ice cream is usually kept at negative 40 degrees, which obviously it's not that cold in here. It's still pretty chilly, you can feel it. It is chilly. So it represents how we keep that ice cream cold until we're ready to enjoy it at home. Are we ready to eat? I think we're ready to eat. All right, let's warm let's up. Go. 
time to sample ice cream. Yes. Now, I've heard you're a Mets fan. Yes. But I really think you should try the Phillies Grand Slam. I don't think you'll regret it. Mets are having a little tough time right now, so maybe I'll bring them a little good mojo. All right, going with the Phillies Grand Slam. I'm assuming Slam. this is Ryan Howard's favorite ice cream. This is his favorite ice cream. That's what I've heard. Okay. Tell me what you think of it. All it's right. got Graham Swirl, Marshmallow Cups. Mm. What do you say? Mets Graham Slam. Are you a Phillies fan yet? I like the Graham Slam. Can we just call it Graham Slam or is it going to be Philly's Graham Slam? I'll see about that. You know, Ashley, the I-7 will love coming here. The whole experience is phenomenal. Just wanted to share that with you. Well, I'm glad you guys came and welcome to come back anytime. I'd love to show you guys around. Thank you, Ashley.